Okay, I finished installing the uh, five blade. Uh, it took me three tries though, but I installed it correctly. On page 26 of this manual, there's an illustration, figure 28. You want to go all the way counterclockwise, all the way to the end, because I originally started clockwise to the end, like had original was installed, and you saw the ghost. Then I took it apart again and did it in the middle, and that was definitely no good. But I went all the way counterclockwise, so if you put it in and go all the way, it should work fine. The results are good. They're not perfect, but it's definitely a big improvement. Uh, you, I just copied uh, this World War II uh, newsreel footage, so I'll put up a five-minute clip of it, and you be the judge. But for a couple hours' work, $45 plus the original, cost me $95.00. I turned this into a Telson projector, and I'm pretty satisfied with the results, and I hope this video helps anyone who decides to try to do this on their own. Just remember, have a good Phillips screwdriver, and that Leatherman really saved me. It's got to buy one tool. The Leatherman's the best tool, uh, but it was worth the time, and instead of paying $20 for every 100 feet, I mean, I'll always pay if I shoot a good roll of film, pay professionally, but, you know, for rushes and whatnot, or... If I want to copy old newsreels, I'm not going to pay that kind of money to, to copy 100 feet of film. Again, this is 500 feet. It would have cost me $75 just to do that. So more, 800 feet. So it was definitely worth my endeavor. I hope this video clips help. And thank you for uh, to uh, Film Tech, www.film-tech.com for having all these great manuals available to the general public free of charge. You're very good people for doing that, and you made my life a lot easier. I wish it worked the first time, but third time was a charm, and I'm going to probably do it on this other projector, because this one actually rewinds. So hopefully the second one I do work fine, and maybe I'll sell one of these, but I'll probably keep both of them. It's good to have a backup. But you can get a, one of these EQ projectors for like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. get the, the, the wheel from the guy. I'll put his, his site where he sells it. So for a hundred bucks, you got yourself a Telsim projector. A little patience goes a long way. Thanks for looking, and I hope.